going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are gonna be painting the truck badges on my 2020 Ford F-150 and we're gonna be using Rust-Oleum peel coat for one side and then we're gonna be using Plasti Dip to paint the other side. These both are the color black. This one, the Plasti Dip is just the standard one. It's kind of like a matte uh, black finish and then the Rust-Oleum peel coat is supposed to be gloss black. So there will be a little bit of a difference, gloss black, matte black, but in general, they should be pretty, pretty similar. So I'll be showing you guys the process for painting both sides, and then when the um, you know when the product is final, I'll show you guys the finished product on both sides. All right, so we got it all masked off, wiped down. It's clean. It's ready to spray. Uh, I'll give you guys just a view of what the truck looks like. This is the 2020 F-150. It's a sport, four x four, lead foot gray, real nice color. Um, I'm definitely going to be blacking out. You know all the all the chrome and whatnot the wheels will eventually be going as well but yeah we've got everything all taped off so we will do rust-oleum peel coat on this side and then we will do the plasti dip on the other side okay the first coat says no more than 50 percent coverage you can definitely tell it's got a real nice shine to it so we're gonna do this. According to the instructions, we gotta wait five minutes in between coats, four or so light coats, and then one really heavy coat to get a nice smooth finish. So this is what the Rust-Oleum one looks like after one coat. Got the other side all prepped up. Now time to hit it with the Plasti Dip. Okay, same general concept as the other side, about 50% coverage on the first pass, and then you'll do several medium coats, and then one heavy one at the end. Okay guys, so we are on, we've done two coats on each side. So this is the Plasti Dip side. I wanna show you guys something. So you don't see any bubbling, like it is a little bit textured, but that's, that's to be expected with this. But I wanna show you what's going on on the Rust-Oleum side. This is, this is why I made that first video so long ago, because it just, okay, so look at this. So we've already got, we've already got bubbling right here. We've already got bubbling and just raised portions right here. I mean, the, the first time I could, I could understand, perhaps I just got a bad can, but I'm getting the exact same, you know, imperfections and whatnot with this other can as well, like pretty much a year later. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it out and I'll, I'll show you guys, you know, the finished product, but I just wanted to show you guys that this isn't like a biased review at all. Like I'm doing the exact same thing. You know, I'm following all the directions. I'm holding the can, the, um, you know, the, uh, the proper distance away and everything like that. And it's just not, it's just, it's just giving me the same errors that it gave me, you know, over a year ago. Okay, here we go. Uh, I believe this is after the fourth light coat. So that's the Plasti Dip side. We'll walk over to the Stolium side. Um, yeah. It, it almost looks like it's watered down in comparison, if that makes sense. Like, I know it's supposed to be slick and be gloss black, but it almost seems like there's more, like, water in the product than, than the actual rubberized paint material. So, as you can see, we still got the imperfections there, there. I mean, you got you do have some parts, you know, where it's where it's smooth, like right there. But then right underneath it, it's starting to bubble up. I guess we'll just finish it out. All right, the final coats have been applied. Um, we're gonna give it the correct amount of time to dry. Plasti dip. First oil side over here, and then we'll obviously take all the masking tape off. We'll clean up around the parts where there's not supposed to be any product, and we'll show you guys side by side. Maybe take some still shots so you guys can better compare the finished results. And I just figured I'd show you guys what it looks like with the masking tape off before it got completely cleaned up. Um, yeah, you can just see the way that the light hits it and all. Not, not a good deal. We'll still get it all cleaned up. I mean, it looks it looks great. I mean, this is, you know, with the flat, um, 
lead foot gray color of this truck. The black badges are going to look sweet. Um, I'll show you guys the plastic dip side as well. It's it's going to look awesome for sure. Once it you know all gets cleaned up and everything like that, it's going to look great. Black and this color gray are going to be an awesome color combination. I don't see any bubbling or imperfections anywhere over here. You can let the light hit it as well, so we can really look for them. You know, the other side is definitely glossier than uh, than this side is, but this is this is plastic up. It's not supposed to be the gloss. It's just matte. So we'll get it all cleaned up, and we'll show you guys that now. All right. So everything for the most part is all cleaned up. We'll show you the plasti dip side first. So I do still have a little bit of cleanup to do, but it looks awesome. Very, very nice. I'm gonna leave the black inside the F and the zero. Um, I have a little bit of cleanup to do right down there and right here. But as far as like the color scheme that I'm going for, this thing looks awesome. Oh, right there, you can really get a good idea of the, the um, the color contrast with the lead foot gray and the black Whew, yeah that looks sweet so I figured I'd give you guys the good news first not time for the other stuff okay so this is <laughs> this is the rust-oleum side I'm sure there's still gonna be people in the comments who are like oh you didn't do this right you didn't do this right you didn't hold it far enough back enough I mean guys I've tried this this exact test between these exact two products over a year apart from each other and I've gotten the exact same results both times so it might not it might just be the product I don't know what do you got you guys leave whatever your opinion is in the comments below I'm gonna be happy and I'm gonna stick with the Plasti Dip because man oh man does that thing look awesome yeah, that just looks so cool and it's so expensive to, so inexpensive too I mean pretty much at the end of the day too if you decide that you don't like it you just peel it right off the process of removing it is super easy so yeah there's the comparison video it is hot as crap outside so I'm gonna end the video if you guys are brand new consider subscribing we're almost at 5,000 subscribers thank you guys so much and we will catch you guys on the next video